Hey everyone, it's Tom again from Object Space. I'm a 3D and augmented reality artist and I create AR experiences such as this one. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Lens Studio to create a full body track lens. This will allow you to create your own TikTok style videos using Snapchat. You can goof and dance around, you can put it on your friends, you could even create your own short films using it for example. I will also be showing you how to create a world AR filter so you can place your void in your own world, on your table, in your garden and truly begin the Dejan Army invasion. In the previous video I introduced you to Lens Studio and showed you how you can build out your very own AR avatar using your void NFT download. I definitely recommend checking out that video first if you haven't. Once again, for this tutorial, we're going to be using a void NFT model that collectors get when they purchase a void. So make sure you download it from the official website. We're also going to be using Lens Studio, which is Snapchat's AR development creator platform. So make sure you download and install this first. We will also be using Mixamo, which is Adobe's free rigging and animation platform. This is free to use, but you will need to have an Adobe login to use this. So download your void model from the website. And what we want to do is actually upload this model to the Mixamo website, which will allow us to auto rig the character for their platform, as well as apply different animations to it. So to prep the model for Mixamo, we actually want to remove the existing rig so we can create a new one compatible with Mixamo. There's a few ways to do this. You can use Blender, you can use Maya, but you can also use free online converters such as this one here, which I'll leave in the description. This allows us to upload our FBX file and then convert it into an OBJ, which by default has no rig information. So upload your file and click convert now. So wait for it to process and download it. This is free, so anyone can use this and you don't have to have any 3D knowledge to remove the rig. You should find we now have a zip file we've downloaded with our object and it also extracts all of the textures for us, which is great. So I'm just gonna take the OBJ out. So we've got our original FBX and now we've got our OBJ without the rig. So this OBJ is the file we're gonna be using to upload to Mixamo and make it compatible for their platform. So in Mixamo, go to Upload Character on the right hand side. And then we're gonna select our new OBJ. Once your model is processed, it should show up in the Auto Rigger. Click Next. And here is where we start to define our rig in Mixamo. So we wanna place the chin, wrist positions, elbows, and the knees. This creates a rig that's compatible with the Mixamo platform. That means we can then animate it with their default animations. It also reads really well in Snapchat, so I prefer to use this rig for the body tracking. So click next and it will process. Once Mixamo has finished, you will see this animated character, which gives us a great idea of how it's gonna look. Click next and it will update the preview panel here. So now we've got a completely re-rigged character that's suitable to Mixamo, but also works well in Snapchat. So what we're gonna do is download and add an FBX in T-Pose. Leave Mixamo open because we're also gonna use this later for our world effect by applying some animations to this rig and then import that into Lens Studio as well. But for now, we're going to build out the body tracking using this stock rigged character. Now, with Lens Studio open, we're actually just going to create a blank new project. You should now have the original FBX from Void, the stripped out OBJ, and also a new FBX from Mixamo. So drag and drop this into Lens Studio into your blank project. Click Import. It complains about a few things, but it shouldn't be an issue. We want to create a body track lens so that we physically become our void character. I'm just gonna change the preview here on the right from person one down to skeletal. And that gives us a full body example. The next step is to click add in the objects panel and import a body track 
search for body or scroll down to full body tracking and import that. Now you'll see we've got a new body tracking object and a body track asset. Click on the 3D body tracking object and you'll see we've got a load of attachment points in the inspector. These are different areas of our body attachment and these will correspond to the rig from Mixamo. So simply open up the Mixamo rig, drag in the P object onto the body tracking and it's obviously massive. So click on the object and press R in the viewer to scale or click on the scale icon at the top and drag it down until it looks about right in the viewport. Once you've scaled and positioned your void, you want to then click on the body tracking asset and click match hierarchy just underneath the body tracking asset. You then select your void Mixamo import and click OK. So this has gone through and this has matched all of the rig points with the body attachment points that Lens Studio gives us and we are now becoming our own void. So a good way to test this is to click down on the preview skeletal, click on this little video icon here, and then go down to dance, for example. And you can see how well it tracks to the body movements. In my previous video, I showed you how to import textures and apply to materials. So we're gonna go through and do that again. Because this is a brand new rig, we don't have any materials attached to the object. So I'm going to click on my body and you'll see there's no material listed. It says choose material here. Click on choose material plus for a new one. And we want a simple PBR. And then click OK. And obviously it's best practice to name it. And then with our textures imported, we're going to click on base and replace it with base color. And here you go on the right, you can see we've now got our colored void moving and dancing around to the preview. So go ahead and take some time to just hook up all of your textures and materials. Once you've imported your model, linked up the rig and attached all of your materials, we are almost done. We've got a 3D void that moves with our body. But what we want to do is actually remove our own body from the video. There's a really easy way to do this and Snap have given us some really great tools. Click on the asset library just at the top. And you'll see there's loads of pre-built assets that are super useful. Definitely have a look through all of these for uh, improving your projects. And it just happens to be on the featured list. Click on eraser post effect and click import. This post effect will essentially remove our body from the video feed. So down here it says eraser put in ortho camera. We don't actually have an orthographic camera, which as you remember is a 2D projection camera. Uh, the easiest way to create one is to just create a screen image. This creates an orthographic camera by default. I'm then gonna delete my screen image as I don't want it. And then I'm gonna drag this eraser into your orthographic camera. So by default, this isn't doing exactly what we want. Inside Eraser Resources, there's actually a portrait face segmentation. We are going to want to change that to body. So click on portrait face segmentations in the res Eraser Resources. Click on body in the inspector. And you'll see it actually does a great job of erasing our body. You'll remember from my previous video that once you add an orthographic camera, it actually overrides the 3D camera. Um, so we've got the background that we want, but we also want to see the 3D model in front of it. And if you remember, you click on scene config down here next to resources. We want to just drag the orthographic camera on top of a regular camera so that it renders before the 3D camera. So orthographic camera render layer zero and then the regular camera render layer one. And now you'll see that we've got our void character dancing away with our body erased. And that is essentially it. We have created a very own body tracked AR experience using Snapchat and the void avatar. You can then dance around as your void and become a TikTok superstar. If you want to add a little extra kind of style to this filter, one thing we could do is click on the plus in the objects panel and create a kind of VHS effect. 
Scroll down to post effects and click on VHS. This creates a VHS post effect and that essentially runs on top of the filter to create uh, this kind of retro VHS filter. In the resources panel, you'll now have a VHS material that applies to your VHS object here in the objects panel. Click on a VHS material and you can kind of change the attributes like chromatic aberration, which actually is pretty cool, <laughs> just like that. Saturation to maybe boost up the texture. You can adjust this band height and amplitude. Um, I mean, this is a bit strong, so I'm going to turn down the chromatic aberration and the saturation. I like to also stack on top an analog TV effect. So if I click on that, and now with the analog TV effect, we've got a bit more chromatic aberration. If you go down to the material and the resources panel, I'm going to turn down the chromatic aberration. But you've got this noise that we can add, so you can increase the intensity of the noise to make it feel like a really old TV. And I'm just going to take off the distortion because I don't like the distortion. So I definitely encourage you to explore the post effects in Lens Studio. There's a lot of cool effects here that you can layer and adjust how your filter looks. And also check out the asset library for more advanced features that you can add on top of uh, your experience. And like in the previous video, make sure that you are synced up to your Snapchat device on your phone. Uh, that way you can send this experience to test on your mobile. And make sure you're signed in to my lenses so you can publish the lens to your account. Of course, we want to change the project info to whatever you want to call it, Void Dance. Give it a logo, give it a preview, and then choose a preview video or create your own if you wish. Once you've added your preview, your logo, and given it a name, you are then ready to publish your lens. It will then export and open up a separate window. Once it's uploaded the lens, you should see this Submit a Lens screen. Click on Community Lens, Submit New, and then you should see your preview, your icon, and your name, and then you're ready to either set it public or keep it hidden so you can only share it with the link, and click Submit. Next up, let's create this world AR experience, and if we go back to Mixamo, go back to your character. You can see that actually there's a tab called animations and you can literally choose any animation that you want from this list and it will apply it to this rig. So let's just choose a random one like Brooklyn Up Rock. <laughs> there you go. He's kind of break dance stuff going on here. And now this is completely downloadable and you can even customize it so you can make it go a bit quicker. If the arms are looking a bit off, you can change the arm space, even though I think that looks okay. So he's got super wide arms now. So let's take this as an example and click download. And then you're gonna get some more options. So we've got FBX with skin, 30 frames per second is fairly standard, especially for America. Keen frame reduction, we will just leave it as none and click download. So now you should have a downloaded animated void character and this one's automatically called the name of a dance. Going back to Lens Studio, we want to then bring this in and what we're actually going to do is use one of these templates. I highly recommend if you're interested in learning Lens Studio to open as many templates as you can learn how it all works. There's so much in here, so many cool projects, so many cool ideas, and it's all really simply laid out for people to learn. We are going to want to use the world template. So I'm going to search world, and if you click on animated world and click that. Now if the template's open, you can see we've got these two characters and they're dancing away and we've got the template assets all loaded up in the objects and resources panel. First thing we're going to do is save it as a new file because this is a template file. You can see on the objects panel that we've got a red panda and we've got an elephant, which is optional. For now, we're just going to have one void, so I'm going to delete the optional elephant. And we want to replace this panda with our dancing void. So again, I'm just going to delete the panda itself. Now all the assets will still exist down in the resources panel, um, 
but we don't need them, so I'm going to delete them. Now we've got a fairly clean scene that we can use to build our experience. Um, obviously we don't have a red panda anymore. We've got a ground, grid, collision and shadow. And this particular object controller we need to keep because it's got some uh, setup of world tracking and interaction. So let's go and import our dancing Dejin. Click on the animation, import. And again, we've got it here. So let's drop it down, click on the P and let's drag the P into a world object controller. And it's huge as always. So let's get it down. And here you go. We've got ourselves a dancing void in the preview panel. Let's get them a bit more so we can see them. And you'll also notice there's this kind of box surrounding him. This is our collision touch box. So we just want to kind of keep it to a similar dimension. This allows us to use our mouse or finger on the phone to drag our model around. Mixamo is a really handy way of creating these kind of stock animations, applying them to any model, and then we can use Lens Studio to throw that into our environment. So as always, we need to assign some materials. I'm gonna go ahead and start adding some materials. Also, don't forget, we're gonna need some textures. I'm just gonna bring in the body texture for this example. And I'm gonna hide all of the assets for now. So we've got a model, we've created a blank material. I'm gonna add our skin. And there he is, having a little boogie. Now you can see he's not casting any shadows even though we have a matte shadow object. We actually have to define the objects as casting shadows. So click on the body and click caster under shadow mode. And there you'll see a fake shadow showing up. This is defined by the light source under lighting. Press F to focus on that and you can then press E to rotate if you want to change the lighting. And under this light we have shadows enabled. So you have to make sure shadows are turned on and you can change the density and blur if you wish. So you can see how easy this is to make and how fun it can be. I definitely encourage everyone to give it a go and then share all of your voids dancing around in the world, invading everyone's environments and taking over the planet. So if you've made it this far, I really thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something. I hope you're inspired to create more Snapchat filters and explore the software. Um, if you do create something, I'd love to see it. So please share it. My uh, details are down in the description. I also recommend checking out the Void I'm a Dejin project, the NFTs. Uh, when you buy one, you own the avatar and it's yours to keep. And yeah, so definitely check out their Discord community. Also keep checking out Lens Studio, keep learning, keep exploring. I think it's really fun. There's so many things you can create in the software and share it on social media. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to donate to me, then that would be amazing. And my Ethereum address is down in the description. Um, but mostly I just wanna see people creating and getting inspired and sharing on social media. So I will see you in the next video.